guys welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a sweat proof makeup tutorial this was a very requested makeup tutorial it's good for summertime it's good for graduations you're going to be outside at weddings events it's really hot and sweaty <laughs> honey you do not want to be caught out there with your face melting off it's a great tutorial that i kind of go to whenever i know i'm gonna have to wear my makeup all day long or when i'm gonna be in a hot sweaty situation and i don't want my face to melt off this is what i do and it works I'm for real. In this video, I'm also going to be sharing with you a really cool new product. It's the Juicy Shakers by Lancome. These are so cool. They look like little martinis and they're like oils and for your lips and they stain your lips. That way you really don't have to worry about your lip product coming off. Because it's a stain, I think it's so great for, you know, hot weather or sweat proof. They're so cute. They look like little martini shakers and you shake them up to use them. I'm just going to show them to you real quick. And then it comes with a little sponge that looks like this and you can just dab your lips with it. And then inside it's just three little holes where the um, oil comes through. The Juicy Shakers have natural nourishing oils in them they have 20 beautiful shades i have quite a few of them here i'll show you an overview that way you can kind of get a good look at them also give your a nice plump to your lip and a glossy finish best thing is it is a non-sticky non-drying formula so like i said it's especially great for hot weather nourishing oils i just told you about they include sweet almond oil omega-3 as well as cranberry oil and in case you're wondering these cost 21 dollars and they are sold at ulta beauty so yay I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorite lip cocktails with these and how that I use them. So it will be more than one lip look at the end. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure and subscribe before you leave. We're going to jump right in and get started. To begin, we're going to go in with the Benefit Matte Rescue Facial Primer. Now this is going to help keep our skin matte throughout the heat. Um, but it's not going to make our foundation last longer. But I'll show you how to do that in just a second. We're going to be going in with the Born This Way by Too Faced in shade Sand. Which is a bit darker than my natural skin. But it does match my neck and arms and all that jazz. I'm just going to blend that out all over my face. So the trick to make your foundation last longer is by setting it with a powder. I normally don't set it with a foundation powder. But in this case, I'm going to. This one's by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to apply this on the face. I try to avoid the under eye area because I will be adding a cream. And you don't want to put any type of cream on top of a powder so I'm gonna be going in with my concealer by bare minerals this is their bare skin serum concealer in shade light this has just been my favorite concealer and it lasts for a very long time on your face so I thought it was just perfect for today's um, tutorial and I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender by dabbing it trying not to move the product around too much because we want it to stay under our eyes we don't want to drag it down too far and the bridge of our nose and our upper lip and just a touch on our chin um, but just be sure you're not adding the powder first on all the areas you're gonna put the concealer as you can see I added like the lightest layer of powder possible once that's all blended out, you want to make sure that you're setting your concealer just like we did the foundation. I'm going to use the same powder and just press it into the concealer. That way it doesn't crease or run away from us. Then I'm going to go in with my trusty Hoola bronzer and just really bronze up my face. My face was looking really pasty today, so I did kind of do a deep bronzer. But I love the Hoola bronzer. It's just the perfect shade for me. And I just drag it around my forehead, my cheekbones, chisel those out a little bit. I do a little bit under my lip, too, just to try to make my lip look a little bit more plump. And I did contour my nose off camera. Now I'm going to go in with a cream blush because blush is always the first thing to go whenever it's hot and you're sweaty. So I'm just going to dab this on my cheeks with two fingers. If it's not bright enough for you, you can add a powder blush on top, and the powder blush will last longer same method goes with the highlight I'm going to be using the what's up by benefit and it's going to last so much longer because it's a cream and not a powder like I said if it's not bright enough or intense enough for you honey just add some powder on top and you will be ready to go now I'm going to go in with the adorable Too Faced peanut butter and jelly time palette okay and I'm gonna blend the lightest shade in my crease as well as my brow bone just to soften up my primer and to go ahead and highlight that brow bone and I'm just using a fluffy blending brush then I'm gonna take the warmer brown shade in the palette and I'm gonna blend it in the crease it's really important not to use 15 different eyeshadow shades if you're gonna be hot and sweaty because they all kind of get mushy and blend together keep it simple but I'm gonna show you how to glam it out anyways so I'm just gonna focus this brown color on the crease kind of the outer corner 
corner, circle, blend, blend, blend. A trick I like to do is to add a glitter glue onto my lid instead of just an eyeshadow primer. It's so much stronger and it's gonna make your makeup last so much longer. I'm using Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay and with a flat synthetic brush, I'm just gonna push that right on top of the glitter glue I am experiencing a little bit of fallout. Then for my wing liner, I have a tutorial for that. I'll link down below. And I'm gonna add some waterproof mascara from Too Faced. We don't want our mascara to run. Then I'm gonna take that brown shade and just dust it across the lower lash line. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of mascara to those lower lashes to viva voom them out. I do have on falsies. If you don't wanna wear falsies, just build up your natural lashes and it will look gorgeous. I'm also gonna use the Tarte Inner Realm Liner. This liner is really great for lasting a long time and it kinda of opens up the eyes. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. For our first lip cocktail, we're gonna be using the Lancome Matte Lip Crayon in shade Sought After. And then we're gonna top it with the Juicy Shaker in Lemon Explosion. This is personally my all-time favorite lip cocktail. As you can see, the oil and the formula um, splits apart, so you wanna make sure and shake it really good. And what I like to do is just dab it onto my lips like so, and you'll see the outcome. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl, I love it. Okay, for our next lip cocktail, I used the Matte Lip Crayon by Lancome and Way Montier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I will have a list in the description box. Don't you worry. It's just a nice, bright red color. Um, and I apply that all over my lips. Then to top it, to give it a nice glossy finish, added my Juicy Shaker and Cherry Symphony. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, wait. Come back. Don't forget to set your face with your um, setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. <laughs>